Today is May 2nd, 2017, and I'm going to make uh, two pot pies today. And I know everybody knows how to make pot pies, but this is just how I do it. And maybe there's some helpful hints that um, might help your pie taste better. Or if you don't know how to make one, then follow along. Um, the first thing I like to do is to saute the onions because I just like them cooked and um, in there better than uh, putting the onions in the pot pie raw. I just like, I think it gives it a pretty good taste when they're sauteed and I put a little bit of olive oil in the pan and saute the onions first and then I add the roux later. And these are Vidalia onions. They're coming out now in the stores. <laughs> they're so sweet and delicious. They're excellent onions to use. So I highly recommend the Vidalia. So I'll get that started and get the onion sauteed and stay tuned. A little garlic powder to the onions just to give it a little extra taste and some salt. And then I slow cook it. I like to tweak it a little bit and put a little extra in it that we like. And then, uh, for instance, mushrooms. I like to cook up some mushrooms and add that for a little extra taste. And we had extra on hand, so uh, we'll do that. And I'll show you the rest of the uh, ingredients. You'll need one third cup of flour, two and a cups, two and um, three fourths cups of broth. And then I like to add extra onions just because of, we like a lot of onions. And but you can put what you want in your pot pie, of course, because what you like is what you like, you know. So, and then uh, two cups of frozen vegetables I found works best instead of canned. And then two and a half cups of chicken, chopped chicken. And I like mushrooms, so I had some extra on hand, so I'm going to put some mushrooms in there. And then it calls for one pie dish, but um, since I'm adding extra ingredients, I'm going to use my more deep dish one. It's um, a little bit bigger than just a basic pie crust pan. And then you'll need two um, pie crusts, or make your own, whatever you like. So we'll get and started. I'm melting some butter, and then I'll put the flour in there to make the roux. And then I'll put the chicken broth in there to thicken it up and put the vegetables and be almost ready for the crust. That simple. Add um, in the list of ingredients a half a cup of milk so that um, will help the moisture contents here. All right, now it's ready to put into the pot shells. Crust. So it's been room temperature for a little while helps with the unrolling. Just lay it on there. <clears throat> it's a little stretchy, it helps to for my deep dish pan. Just like that. And I'll get the vegetables. High crust is ready for the filling. And And it's time for the top layer. And then should have the oven going by now at, at 425 for 30 to 40 minutes. This one is a lot thicker, so I'll probably end up going about 50 minutes. And uh, then flute the edges. I used to do this for a living when I worked as a prep cook at a restaurant, so it comes pretty easy. Many, many pies I made. I'd go in at 3.30 in the morning, and making pies was tedious, but I didn't mind it. Just roll it under and pinch. There. And then I'll put a little top on the top. I usually just poke it with the fork. The little vent holes. Oh, 
and then you're all done. And then bake it, and then I'll show you when it's done. Pot pie is garlic bread. I think that would go really well with it, and it's yummy. And I just wanted to mention too with the pot pie, I am going to um, cover the edges of the crust with tin foil because it's at such a high temperature, 425, it's just bound to burn it. So I'm going to do that now and then take it off 15 minutes before it's done. 